Hey guys, so I'm gonna talk a little bit today about definition of ready. Um, that's a question I got from one of my YouTube viewers who left a comment below. So leave comments because I do read them and sometimes they turn into videos like this one, right? So go ahead and do that. And while you're down there, just like the video, you know, subscribe, the usual. Go check out carolise.com and make sure that you join my waiting list for my course that's coming out shortly. So today's video is gonna be about the definition of ready. And I just wanna say before I explain what this really is, that be careful of getting bogged down in terms, right? I know you need to learn the jargon so that you can you know, speak the speak and you know, be able to communicate clearly with your teams. But there are some terms that are just book terms and there's a lot of people who don't use them in the everyday discussions, right? Nobody says, okay, this, this story is in the definition of ready or something like that. Like we don't use that term in the real world, right? Because every company kind of defines what ready means in different ways. But I'll tell you what it really means, the essence of it. As you know, with my channel, I like to use simple terms. I like to make things easy to understand. I like to use layman's terms so that you can relate to it. My job here is not to give you as much acronyms and as much textbook terms as possible to prove to you that I know what I'm talking about. I think you already know that I know what I'm talking about, right? So just be careful not to get so obsessed with the terms I found that a lot of people get distracted because they're trying to use terms that they don't really understand and terms that mean different things to different people so the simpler you can make it believe me the better it is for you so what we're talking about is definition of ready definition of ready in everyday practical sense it's just what are the things that a user story has to have in order for it to be considered ready for the developers to pick up and start um, working on. That's what it means, right? That's all it means. So in some organizations, they don't create a story um, until they have already gotten sign off from the product owner or from the business to say, yes, go ahead and create and, and you know, do this feature. Like it has to align with their roadmap. They have to get sign off from these different executives. It, it goes through its process. And then when it goes through that process, they create the story. And then once the story is created, then the developers take it and write the, the actual technical details and write even the story itself. They sometimes even write the acceptance criteria. That's how some organizations do it. Now, I'm not a fan of the developer writing acceptance criteria. That's not what I recommend but that's what some people do for other companies their definition of ready is that once they have the story in their um it's been approved it's a part of their initiative it's on their roadmap they go ahead they create the story and then they have the business analyst write the acceptance criteria but it's not ready until the product owner reviews the acceptance criteria and agrees that that's what the story should be doing so for them, even though the story is written, it's not ready. It's not ready for a developer to pick up until it's been approved by the product owner or whoever is in charge of approving stories. That's other organizations. And there are various combinations of this as well. There are other people who say that they write the user stories or they write documentation around a feature and then once the documentation is approved, like they have a use case, a business case, feasibility study, they have the technical team give their technical notes. Once all of that has been discussed and agreed upon, they've had alignment, they've had consensus, then it's ready for dev to pick it up. And then dev is the one who goes off and does everything. So in the first scenario and this last scenario, dev is the one creating the stories but it depends on the groundwork that has been done by the business analyst before to get it to that point. In the second one, the business analyst is the one who writes the stories once they've done all their elicitation and all that stuff. In a third example, the product owner themselves write the stories because they have to get, they're the ones who agree that the story should be written so they go ahead and write it themselves. And then you have other situations where 
the stories are written and they have acceptance criteria but it needs discussion with developers to make sure that they can actually technically implement it so it's there but it's not in a state of ready until the dev people have said yes we can actually do this so these are very slight differences but everybody has their their process for when a story is ready at the end of the day a user story isn't ready until it can be picked up to go into a sprint that developers can start working on it day one as in it does you don't want to get a story into a sprint and then be trying to get alignment on the story and then be figuring out if the acceptance criteria is correct and then be doing all the work by the time it gets to dev that work has to have been done already and so when you get to dev it's just for them to go off on code so it's ready for them to go code that's what definition of ready is um, definition of done is a whole different thing and I have a story about when is a user story done and what the definition of done means and so you can go check that story out to get that information but definition of ready varies based on the process that the particular scrum team wants to use that the organization wants to use based on their industry and how they do things so it's not set in stone at all it's just what are the steps that you have to take before a developer starts coding on this story that's basically what it is so i hope this was helpful i hope it was clear i mean again nobody goes around talking about hey this is the definition of ready story or this story is um defined to be ready you know we really don't talk like that it's not a part of the jargon but i will say before you guys go i will say if you're using a tool like jira or any other tool that has a workflow in it you tend to find that the tickets move through different stages and one of those stages could be ready in my example when i work with my mentees the stories start at open and then i have a step for um ready to review which is that the story is being reviewed by um someone maybe a business analyst or product owner or whoever and then i have approved to be developed which means that it's not ready it's ready for the developer to pick it up and then the developer picks it up and they put it in progress and they could have their code review after that they could go into testing after that after that it could go into just deployment and so that's how you kind of work the workflow and if you go to jira there's a whole section that helps you to define what those stages are and one of those stages should definitely be that the story is ready for the developers to pick it up right so that's kind of how we systematically structure the definition of ready but again it's not something that you have to really worry about it's just it's it's you're already kind of doing it already right you're already prepping the story already writing your acceptance criteria all of what you're doing is preparing it to be ready so that it can be picked up by a developer and they can go off and code it i hope that was helpful i really do <laughs> Um, let me know what you think in the comments leave comments below if you have any more questions about this if this wasn't clear or if it was let me know as well that's great to know and i will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye